Okay, I'm currently running Snap Camera. You can download it from snapcamera.snapchat.com. It's free um, and it basically allows you to apply Snapchat lenses over the top of your webcam feed. And once you've set up Snap Camera with the lenses, it's then possible to uh, make use of them in Rightboot uh, via Actions. So you can allow your users to um, choose lenses and apply them over photos and videos that are captured during the Rightboot event. So the first thing to do is to choose some lenses and set them up in Snap Camera. So here are the lenses. I'm going to choose this guy. You set it as a favourite by ticking the star. I'm going to choose this one set it as favourite and let's take this one, the solar system one and set that as favourite as well. So now what you have to do is to set up some hotkeys. So we go to the favourites, we hit this icon here for lens hotkeys and for each one we need to add a hotkey and the way that right move works is it's expecting the lenses to be on hotkeys one through nine. So I've only got three here so I'm going to choose one on this. Now the one has to be the one on the keypad not the one across the top of the keyboard. Here I'll go for two on the keypad and here I'll go for three. So I've saved all those The other thing to make sure is that in settings, if we come down here, that the turn lens on off setting is set to num number pad zero, so the, the zero key on your number pad or your keypad. Okay, let's now move over to right booth and see how we can incorporate these lenses into an event. Uh, it is important to understand that you have to keep the snap camera application running in order for it to work in right booth. So I'm going to minimize snap camera and here we are in right booth. If I go into settings the first thing you have to do is to make sure that the snap camera virtual device is chosen. Now if I press the keys on the number pad, so number one, you can see it's applying the filters, the lenses, it directly into the actual right booth video overlay. The next thing to do is to allow users to select lenses in the right booth event. So let's do that. Let's go into the editor. I'm going to add two buttons. So, to select lenses from Snap Camera, you need to apply actions to the buttons. So let's take this guy first look at properties and have the click action snap camera plus one so that will show the next lens out of the lenses that you've chosen this one will have snap camera minus one now one other thing you need to do is you need to tell right booth how many lenses have been set up in snap camera now if you remember we had three lenses so to do that we go into settings We'll go into overlays and props and we'll set the total lenses for snap camera to three. Now that can be anything from one to nine. You can have nine lenses in snap camera and you can set up up to nine in right booth accordingly. Right, let's play this event and see what happens. So if I click this button, I get the lenses one after another. When it gets to the third one, if I click again, it goes back around to the first one. So I can go forwards through the lenses, backwards through the lenses. And the point to note is that once you've chosen a lens, then that will stay throughout the video recording or the photo capture sequence. So you can put these buttons wherever you like. A couple of other points to make. The first one is if you're going to design event structure and look at the start screen you can tick this checkbox to ensure that every time the right booth event comes back to the start screen the snap camera lenses are removed so I'm going to tick that 
And the final thing to say is that when you exit out of playing or editing, then the snap camera lenses are automatically turned off by Rightboot at this point. Actually, there is one final point to make, and that is to make sure that the snap camera lenses are not actually on just before you start playing the event. And then that way, Rightboot can correctly control the on-off status of the lenses.